The other day, I ran into a team of players in 2v2 quite a few times, but each game I played, I got a new pro level player on my team. So in this video, you're going to see three different games with three different players who all have their own unique playstyle. Also, before we get into those games, I have some huge news. I finally finished Medieval Rings, my third addition to the Rings map series that I've made. So if you want early access to the map, it's now available to my patrons on Patreon for playtesting. The link's in the description. Anyway, I thought this was an interesting set of games to see how each match plays out and how I play to adapt around my teammates against the same team. So let's get into the matches. Hope you guys enjoy. We got ZPS on our team against Taha and R. That's not rapid, by the way. Let's see how the game goes. 50 50 across. It was early, that's fine. I think they missed the open shot there from the demo. Should be open though. Nice pla nice play. I said nice plast because I was saying nice play and nice pass. A uh, really early uh, challenge from R is going to give an open space because Taha's still recovering in the corner. So far, so good. Should be space for a 50 50 for ZPS. Gonna go for the back corner here. Taha's gonna try and go for a solo play. It's both of them. Very hard to read because I wasn't sure who's gonna go for what what ball there. Ended up turning off that, that boost a little bit faster than I would have wanted to. I'm gonna clear it out, that's totally fine. Try and turn this early. I'm gonna go for the boost in the corner here or the mid. Go for the boost steal as well. Try and bump Taha off. So gets a, ZPS gets a free shot. Go for the far side, and there we go. So I, I kind of played into the fact that Taha was trying to play a slow game here. So I go for the uh, the player instead of the ball, because he's just going to flick it to my teammate anyway. Since he is first man, going for a flick like that is always going to end up giving the ball to the other team. Ball ZPS gets boost. Going to uh, try to bait him in. Did you end up missing? That's okay. Watch out for demos just in case he goes around the corner. Not what I meant to do. Kind of took the ball away from CPS, but it's quite all right. Nice. Go for a hard shot, then go back. At least make sure it's on target. Give a chance for CPS for a double off the backboard. Nice one. Good play. Just tried to pop it midfield. All I wanted to do was just beat Taha to this touch and then just back out. He ended up bumming me over the ball, but he had lots of space to work with. Nice finish. I don't really play with DPS too often, but I'll see if he wants to play some games. It's 50-50. Try to stay close to this if I can. Try to get a, a bump up with the 50-50. Uh, the Can't quite finish this, unfortunately. And it's open. Okay, well, I had lots of space. No one wanted to challenge. Um, down for a few games. Let's see if he wants to play. So R was trying to make a challenge and then uh, wasn't really in a good position. So once R missed the ball, Taha was unable to really read what was going on because there's too many options. Oh, it's unfortunate. It's his last game. That's okay. I'm Taha off if I can. Nice little clear to the side. I'm going to take this from uh, ZPS because I know I, have, I can go for the quick play. Kind of awkward because I ended up, ended up bumping off the back of my car. But it should be okay. Let's follow up. See what happens here. I'm just gonna wait. It's quite alright. This isn't 3v3, so. No one there to receive that pass. Alright. And he was going early. I just tried to get the flip over him because very aggressive challenge from him. And if I can get that pop over, it would have been 5 0. But unfortunately, it's the other way around. It's 4 1. So that's okay. Right here, I popped. That was the pop right there that I tried to make, but couldn't quite get the power. Try to cheat up here. Let's 
Knew he was going up early, so I just tried to get a decent 50 50. Oh. <laughs> I made him go off his line. I ended up committing way too hard for the, the bump, but because I went for that challenge on him uh, in midfield there by his goal, he was off the line of being able to save the ball. So it ended up working out anyway, but definitely way too aggressive. I probably could have went a little bit softer on that. I think he got the boost. It looks like he did. Around the one. Ended up going underneath him. He tried to read the high shot. Just went for a low roller. Play it pretty safe. And there we go. Pretty good first game. Unfortunately, we don't get to team up with him, but uh, we'll uh, we'll see how the rest of the games go. All right, we got game number two against Taha and R once again. We got one to Mike this time. Probably gonna go early on this. That's fine. Oh, I missed it though, unfortunately. There we go. Let him keep touching it. It's fine. It's 50 50 to be open. <laughs> that was a bit ball chasey for me, but that's okay. We got a goal. Nice 50 50 from uh, one of Mike on the back end to get that cleanly through for the goal. A bit tough. Go for a shot here. See if one of my can shoot it close. Even if Taha goes up for this early, it's not a big deal. It's a bit more stressful here because it's like in a situation where I really can't get uh, comfortably comfortably get my boost. I missed the boost pad there too. Get bumped. Good double. Yeah, it's going to be a tough situation. I was low boost that whole time, so I tried to get in the way. Like right here, I had to avoid the bump too. Could have actually worked out if I bumped him, I guess, because it would have bumped him off that pass. Staha makes a touch. Decent. Nice little block. It's going to pop up. Both of them are pretty committed, so one of them should have a free touch. Pop to the backboard. Yeah, I had the, I had a decent read there. It wasn't great, but I knew that I had a chance of beating both of them to the ball. Really good pop from one to Mike to clear that over the back back end of the net. Both of them panicked a little bit. Thought that I was going to be there a little faster. To be a free play for one to Mike. They end up bumping me, unfortunately. To be a little bit easier for one of Mike once I get a touch on him like that. It's across for Taha. It's not going to be easy to shoot that immediately. I'll let one of Mike take this so we can get the boost. End up leaving the boost for me. At least pinch it a little bit forward. One of Mike can follow it. I'm very low boost here though. I'm just going to go back corner. One. Over the one. Can't bump him though, unfortunately. Close. Hopefully I hit that high enough into the corner. I, I have no boost though. Let me make sure I clear that in a way that at least pops it high enough that we can't get an immediate shot on target. Is that on? Good save. Close. Oh no. That was a bit awkward. I, I, had to, I had to pop it forward to get it over the player challenging one of Mike. And I tried to get the 50-50 there, but one of Mike didn't expect him to challenge so quickly on the corner. That's okay. I'll wait in midfield here once again. We're just going to go to the right, get this boost pad. There we go. Call it back for one of Mike. Oh, my bad. Oh, I did get a demo, but I am alone here. That's over. Should be okay. He's going to get his boost stolen. Should work out. Good boost deal from one of Mike. 
Oh. Nice touch. Close. I'm just gonna turn on this. Probably gonna get beat though. Get a nice shot towards the net at least. Got some pressure. Get their corner boost. Right behind here. Pump them off. One way to have this for free now. Lots of space to work with. Full boost. I'll let him clear it. Put it behind him. Hopefully one of them can get the corner boost and then go for this. Even if R tries to pass that back, it's going to be awkward for them. Let him touch it. He's going to beat me if I go. So take this, give myself some space. Around the one. Did get demoed though. 50-50. R's going to have this for free. What the heck is going on? <laughs> that was kind of strange. Once again, free space for one of my to go off the ceiling. It's be a challenge from Taha. That's okay, though. Off the corner. Be awkward for him. Try to bump him. Oh, no. I think one of my thought I was getting the bump. But that's unfortunate. I think he pushed up because I thought I was getting uh, the ball, the player off the ball right here. Or off the off the <laughs> off the play which would have worked out because it would have been a free goal i think what's oh, over my head that's over too really cut off so we give some, one of my some, some space not quite enough though hopefully one of my can push this up that's both of them Pop it up. It's off the backboard. I can't quite get it though. Unfortunately, that's going to be a loss. Bit of an awkward game. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really feel too comfortable. There's a lot of situations where we overcommitted quite a bit, but we can probably, uh, you know, work through those if we get one to make again. All right. For the last game, we get Mektos on our team. So we got three different people against the same squad. Let's see if we can get the two out of three games. Mektos tried to go for the early challenge. R is pretty low here. He's going to go for the shot. That's quite all right. He's going very aggressive. Oh. Oh, my. We get the corner boost. That's quite all right. Lots of space for Mectos. Pop it up nice and high. R is going to have to make it clear to the corner. I'll get the boost and then leave. Pop it forward. Looks like Metos wants to chase in the corner. That's okay. I did a little bit of a fake shot there to try and uh, sec make Taha second guess on the goal line. It ended up working really well. So Metos ch chasing into the corner there. I have to make sure I back him up because he's going to be pretty low boost. If I don't, then we're going to be in a situation where... Um... Oh, no. Oh, boy. We're going to be in a situation where we're really <laughs> stuck on defense afterwards. Good bump. That was super awkward. I, I tried to cover for Mektos after uh, that one defensive touch. And that pinch over us is going to be really difficult to work with, but it's all good. See if I can cheat up. Oh, no. Yeah, it's on me. I tried to push up on the, uh, the double jump to try and at least bump the guy. It went a little bit over my head right there. I don't know why I went so far forward. We gotta bring it back. It's okay. The tile's gonna go back corner here. And it's in their net. <laughs> okay. Very aggressive challenge. Tried to keep it close. I knew Taha was gonna turn immediately right here after I made this touch, so I just popped it over him. And then I just wait for the other player to come close. The backflip. Really spaced out challenge. Works out for us. We're tied up. Okay. <laughs> Cheating here. Make him go for this touch early. Lots of space to work with. It's a good save, but good finish. Nice. Lots of space to work with. This is what a save, honestly. There was a lot of space for me to work with. Lots of uh, lots of opportunities to score that. 
end up breeding the the amount <laughs> the amount of position I was going for there in the middle of the, the net, but I was trying to go a little bit further behind him. Good. I guess I go for the early book reset. Fake. Oh. Close. Try to fake him a little bit. Go for the bump on him on him here. They're very they're very aggressive on their challenges, and there's not like not many times where we don't know what they're doing. It's just um, got to watch out for when they're pushing on the ball like this, for example. And get these random openings. Like this. Just got to be mindful of it. Like that. Oh, gosh. Almost didn't work out. It's quite all right. Keep in the corner here. Probably going to turn this really quickly. If I know that, I'm just going to go for that touch. Mantos has a free touch. Good follow-up. Decent save. I can't quite follow this because it's going to bounce in the mid for them. Off of the backboard. Good follow from Mectos. Not the greatest clear for me. Does he have it again? I think he does. Yeah. Alright, I'm watch out for the bumps. Not where I thought that clear was going to go to. I thought he was going to try and pass it to me, so we're a bit awkward here. That was close. Probably should have been a goal. I missed this mid boost, that's, or a corner boost. That's good. Good double from Taha. Let's get a clear down the field. I probably should have put that in a better spot. Off him off. Mectos is still in net though, so he's unfortunately going to beat, get beat here. I'm actually surprised he got that challenge off. I thought they were going to easily chip it around. It popped up nice and high. I'm just trying to watch out for the bumps. Should be Mectos is clear. Space. Off the backboard. That's not a good challenge for me. And it's over Mactus's head, unfortunately. So we are going to go into uh, an even game here. I probably should not have challenged so aggressively in the corner like that. Pretty dumb by me. That pop off the corner is definitely going to be hard to read for Mactos. Pretty weird games. But we uh, I feel pretty confident to bring this back. That's okay. He's going to read that early. Yeah, that's in our net. I, I totally... Oh, it's not in our net. Hey, it's in our net. <laughs> Did not work out how I intended it to. I kind of felt that once I passed that back, that they were just going to chase that down as soon as possible. So we, we uh, kind of baited at Mectos a little bit. Good save. They're pretty low here, so I'm just going to try and wait for this play to come in mid. Off the backboard. Mectos gets a 50-50. Close. Behind him. And it's going to be open. Nice. So I kind of knew what was happening there. I was trying to watch for it. Uh, that was a really good pass from Mectos off the side there. And with 12 boosts, I just had to get a touch around him. Ended up getting it. Get a free clean win here as well. So let's see if we can off the ceiling. Decent. It's going to be a clear from R. Going for a challenge right away. Nice to be down. All right, let's go to overtime for the final game. Got the got the the win on the ball there and the boost. I just should beat them here. This boost is going to spawn in a second too, but I think Metos is going to try to go for the t the steal afterwards. He does. Let 
Mantos' ball for free. There's no one on the backboard, so he got a free shot. And there's the finish. Nail in the coffin. Pretty uh, pretty interesting set of games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, we got the two out of three games against the same squad. Um, definitely not the most uh, comfortable second game, but this game was actually a pretty good comeback. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a fun set of games. <laughs> Very eventful. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit him once. Oh. Hit, the, hit yep, both yep, of them once. Yep. Oh, he's oh. got an AK! I'm, 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 I'm trying him. <laughs> oh, no, he killed me. He's low. He's got to be so low. I got him. I got him. Watch your right side. Left side. Where is this guy? Oh, I see oh. a ghost. I got him. Nice, nice, nice. Can I revive you?